This is the Kukirin G2 Max, a powerful e-scooter that has a 1000 watt motor, a maximum speed of 55 km per hour, up to 80 km range, dual suspension and quite a few other features. At the time of this video, it costs about 850 euros in the EU. Let's take a look. The G2 Max comes in a pretty standard looking box and it arrived without any transportation damage thanks to well thought out packaging. It is fully assembled except for the optional seat that can be mounted in a minute with 4 provided screws. For the sake of this video and my own comfort, I installed the seat and used it with a scooter all the time. The design and build quality of the G2 Max are very good. The scooter is well constructed, it uses metal in its frame, it feels sturdy and after using it for a few hundred kilometers, the scooter still works as new. There are no rattling or squeaking sounds, which is usually the case with cheaper e-scooters. It just feels that the G2 Max is a good quality product. One of the highlights, you can fold and unfold the scooter in just a moment and start using it. The G2 Max is not your everyday scooter because it is big, it's bulky and it's built like a tank. The device weighs about 31 kilograms, which means that you can still carry it, but it is quite heavy. If you have a seat installed, you can fold it down, but you won't be able to fold the handlebar, so that's the trade-off you have to live with. Taking off the seat takes just a few minutes by unscrewing 4 screws. You can also adjust the height of the seat and the handlebar. The maximum load is 150 kilograms, meaning that this scooter is suited for heavier riders too. For reference, my weight is about 75 kilograms and my height is about 170 centimeters. A powerful 1000 watt motor is integrated into a rear wheel and it is powered by a massive 48 volts 20 amps battery, which is however not removable but that is the case with most e-scooters. The top speed is 55 km per hour, which is very fast and I only advise you to reach the maximum speed on even terrain like asphalt. Make sure to always wear a helmet for your own safety. Also, please check your local laws and abide the legal speed limit. There is also a dual shock suspension system that I found to be highly effective, especially when riding the scooter off-road. The 10-inch off-road pneumatic tires are made to have good traction with the terrain. They are puncture and shockproof and so far they have been highly effective. The scooter is IP54 certified, meaning that it is not afraid of water splashes. I used it in the rain for some time and the device still works as new. If you decide to wash it, just make sure not to pour water into the charging part. I found the anti-skid pad to be very effective. It never felt slippery with the different sneakers I used it with. A nice touch by the manufacturer is sturdy foldable hook, so you can hook your jacket or a grocery bag. Also, a metal made kickstand is robust and it holds the scooter very well. One of the highlights, a 6 light system that consists of one headlamp, two front side lights and three taillights. The system has quite a few benefits. First of all, this is a very important safety feature because the scooter is visible from all sides. Second, I found the front light to be very bright and it illuminates the road in front of you very well. One of the best lights I've seen on the e-scooter. Also, two front and two side lights are part of the turn signal system, making it very clear where you're going to make a turn for the vehicles from all sides. The taillight is quite bright too and it has a built-in brake light. Hit the brakes and it starts blinking. Overall, I'm highly impressed with the light system, one of the best and most versatile I've seen on an electric scooter. All the lights and turn signals are controlled using the switches on the handlebar. In order to start riding the e-scooter, you need to insert the provided key and start the ignition. Press and hold the power key and turn it on and choose from three power modes. I mostly use the most powerful third mode. The bike computer shows basic information like speed, trip distance, odometer, voltage and battery remaining. It also shows if the lights or blinkers are turned on. You can also adjust the angle of the bike LCD for your convenience. The display may not have the best sunlight legibility, but you can still see it. The built-in backlight is very useful in low light. The electric horn is pretty loud. Here is a quick audio sample. Now let's talk about the riding experience. 
the combination of the powerful motor, the battery that is capable of high rate current output, a dual suspension system, high quality tires, good quality anti-skid pad and a soft and comfortable seat makes the riding experience great. If you have ridden just an ordinary street e-scooter before, you'll be amazed by the power of 1000 watt motor and quite impressive uphill and off-road climbing capabilities. It feels that the scooter always has enough power no matter the terrain and the incline you're riding on. In other words, the GT Max feels very powerful and fast both on the asphalt and off-road. When I'm not going very fast, I love sitting on the seat which is nice, soft and comfortable to ride on and when I want more speed, I usually stand up for safety. I rode the scooter on all sorts of uneven off-road terrain and it always felt that the GT Max had plenty of power and it handled hills quite well. Don't expect it to handle the steepest hills but around 30 degree slopes are no problem for the scooter. The dual disc brakes are very good out of the box, without needing any adjustments. The brake handles are comfortable and easy to press. Overall, it is a pleasure to ride this e-scooter. It has a lot of power to conquer any terrain, 55 km per hour speed is very fast for the e-scooter and last but not least, the GT Max is comfortable to ride both standing up or sitting down. The scooter has a huge 48 volts, 20 amps battery which during my test performed quite well considering the fact that it has to provide energy for the powerful motor. The manufacturer claims a maximum travel range up to 80 km but I would say that you should expect to get about 50 or 60 km if you mostly ride it off road with quite a few inclinations or at a fast speed. It is still a good result but mileage varies depending on how and where you ride the scooter and obviously your weight. 80 km of range is achievable only if you ride the scooter up to 25 km per hour on asphalt with no inclination. It takes about 11 hours to fully charge the battery which is quite slow and it means that it is best to charge it overnight so the scooter is ready to ride in the morning. Overall, the Kukirin GT Max is a really awesome e-scooter. The only flaws worth mentioning, the display could have better visibility under direct sunlight and a faster charging speed would be nice. Other than that, the GT Max is a near excellent e-scooter for the price that has plenty of power, great riding experience, good battery life, the build quality is near excellent and I just love the versatile light system with turn signals. All things considered, the Kukirin G2 Max offers excellent value for money and I can easily recommend it if you are looking for a lot of power and plenty of features. What do you think about the G2 Max scooter? Would you buy this one or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.